Would I be the arsehole if I prioritize my oldest son's wishes above those of my wife and my younger children? I have a son who is now 14 from my first marriage. My first wife died when he was 5 and I remarried when he was 7. My wife and I met several months after I lost my wife. We did not enter into a romantic relationship until 16 months after my first wife's passing. However, I know that from starting the romantic relationship to remarrying, we moved fast. I know it was too fast for my son who was young at the time and struggled with the change. I did have him in therapy and our relationship did not suffer because of it, he never stopped confiding in me and talking to me. But his relationship with my wife did suffer as a result. He is not close to her and he is not close to his half-siblings. We have done family therapy and my son had therapy to help him with the loss of his mom as well as more recently to help him as he deals with my diagnosis. This all comes into play because I am terminally ill and my son wants to go to live with my late wife's father, brother and his family once I'm gone. He has expressed this to me since the topic of what happens next became a reality we need to prepare for. My wife does not want my son to leave her and the kids after I die. I know my two daughters will miss my son a lot since they are old enough at five and six to remember him. My son told me he would not be happy staying with my wife and other children. He told me he would rather be with his real family. My wife is aware of the conversation my son and I are having over this topic. She spoke on behalf of herself and our kids. She believes I should tell my son he should stay with them since this is his home and she believes it would spell the end of any sibling relationship if he can get away with never seeing our kids. She believes he could grow more fond of them in time. I spoke to my late wife's family and they would gladly have my son. They see him regularly as it is and have always been part of his life. I trust that they would take amazing care of my son. But I also believe my wife would. I believe my son would be happier with his maternal family. I told my wife this and she told me she thought I would want my kids to be close after I'm gone. She thought I respected her as an equal parent in our household. And that I would take more than just what my oldest son wants into consideration. She asked me to really think if it would be best for him. I told him I have been thinking about that. She became angry and we fought about it. I hate fighting with her when I don't have long left. She told me I'm showing a lack of concern or care for her and the kids and accused me of being cold about this. Would I be the arsehole if I prioritize what my son wants and arrange for him to stay with his maternal family after I die? Not the arsehole. Your son is old enough to be able to have a say in where he lives. It's a real possibility that he'll get resentful if you your wife forces him to keep living there when he doesn't want to. Not the asshole. So sorry for what you are going through. This is about what your son wants when you have gone, it is not about your wife or his half-siblings. His wishes need to be honored. He does not see your wife as his mother. He does not love her, he probably resents her for trying to take the place of his mother. He should be allowed to stay with his maternal family. You need to make that happen before you go. Nta. Your wife has it all wrong. If she tries to force a relationship between him and his half-siblings, it's only going to lead to him resenting them and wanting even less to do with them than he does now. It's a sucky situation all around, and I think you should encourage him to maintain some kind of relationship with his siblings, even if he doesn't live with them, but this kid is going to be fully orphaned as a teenager he is by far the one who is going to feel your loss the most, and he should be allowed to be with the people who will help him heal. Not the asshole. I'm so sorry for your family. Please make sure your wishes are documented so there isn't any time or money wasted in a custody battle. Did your wife formally adopt your son? Not sure about your finances, but are there trusts set up for your children? Or college funds? Does part of your late wife's estate go to your son after his passing? Do you own a home? Is he set to inherit a share of it? I hope you have lawyers helping you make sure everything is in order. Not the asshole. Your wife seems to be looking after her children, not all of the children. 
She wants her stepson around for how he can help her. She admits what her priorities are. Not the asshole. You need to put your son first right now. Soon he'll have lost both parents and your wife is making this about her. I hope you have everything settled in advance. Please try to take some time and leave your son a few videos graduation day, wedding day, general dad advice. I'm so sorry both you and he are going through this. Please spend some extra time with him and make sure you've given him the sentimental things you want him to have. Especially those from his mom. Maybe even make sure they're with his maternal family, just in case. Your son is not your wife and daughter's emotional support animal. It's not his job to make them feel better or more connected as a family after you're gone. He's going through the heartbreak of losing both his parents before he finishes school and he's old enough to make this decision for himself. Your wife doesn't get a say in this. She's not his mother and he doesn't consider her family. You would be TA if you allowed her to say your decision. If you make this decision between the people who should be involved, namely your son and his maternal family, Yimta NRA. Please ensure your son gets a share of your estate which takes into consideration any money share of community property his mum left to you. It may seem unimportant now but it is something which needs to be discussed. Not the asshole. Your son is almost an adult. He should be able to make this decision for himself. He has been dealt a very difficult hand, with losing his mother so young and now losing you soon. Give him what would make him happiest in this difficult time. Try to encourage him to visit regularly, and spend some holidays with your daughters and wife. Hopefully if you choose to honor his wish, he will choose to honor yours. Not the asshole your son does not exist as emotional support for them. He will need his own emotional support in a place he considers home. He has told you where that is. Your wife and her kids have each other. It's not perfect, but no answer would be. Your wife may be holding on to an idealistic vision of what could be, where your son would be happy with them too, but I suspect her main underlying motivation may be her not wanting your daughters to be separated from their brother because of how they feel about it. Not the asshole. After a decade your son hasn't accepted your wife and his half-siblings as his family. This will only grow into resentment if he has to stay. Not the asshole and get to an attorney ASAP. Draft a will stating who you want to be guardian when you die. Info is their dollar. Who will be in charge of your minor son's money after you pass? Will it be in-laws who love your son 100 or wife who loves your son 49? Think about it. How much of an R do you have to be to prioritize your wants and feelings over those of a dying man and a child who is about to lose both parents? I mean really. I'd be worried that the wife just wants a free babysitter and wouldn't treat your son well. Not the asshole. As an adult who ran away as a child from a less than ideal family situation due to an absent parent and a passed away parent, put your son where he wants to be. The other option is not an ideal outcome for anybody involved. Not the asshole. Your son is 14. The courts will most likely give guardianship to the grandparents since that is what he wants.